Hello everybody, Sai Starcraft here with a uh, voiceover of I Want to Be the Bashi. I'm basically just, what I'm, what I'm going to do for I Want to Be the Bashi is, uh, I really just want to showcase this sh the Solgren fight, which hopefully I'll be able to beat. And so I just wanted to record the entire playthrough just to give you guys a recap of all the different bosses I beat. And uh, speed it up just so it doesn't take for fucking ever. As you can see here, this fucking spark part is pissing me off. I don't remember having such a problem with uh, this whole spike portion of Bashi, but as you can see, <laughs> it's not going so well. And one thing I forgot to do was actually shoot the save point on the left and the right side, so that's kind of silly of me as well. But but anyway, uh, I'm basically answering all your guys' begging wishes to finally play through Bashi again and try to defeat Soul Green. I know a lot of you are like supporting me, and they're being like, you're being like, but Sai, don't give in to them. They're fucking greedy assholes don't even worry about it but uh it's kind of eating away at me though i gotta tell you man mr slogan he just needs to die and i think i said before when i was playing through baji i don't care if i have to look at walkthroughs i don't care if i have to uh watch everybody else's strategies and just do that it takes me forever to shoot that save point and just do all their strategies but i want Solgren to die i've died 49 times 50 51 holy shit i'm dying so <laughs> I don't remember this part being this difficult. Oh my goodness, this is embarrassing. I can't imagine what I was going through when I was, uh... I was probably swearing a lot, actually, so I suppose I can imagine. Am I really gonna die over a hundred times on these stupid spikes? I didn't realize the death count right there. I don't know why this part is so hard for me. It didn't... Oh, finally, it wasn't this hard before. Uh, the tilting stages actually was never really a problem for me. As you can see, I breeze, take it out pretty clearly. Uh, part of the reason they're not usually that hard is I have a pretty good memory. Like, you know how when you just like open your eyes, look at something, and close them real fast? Like, I've always been pretty good at remembering layouts of dungeons or, you know, areas and stuff just by doing that. So, if you just kind of ignore the tilting of the screen and you just focus on, you know, what you have imprinted in your brain then uh, you should be pretty pretty okay on those types of parts. But uh, this is on easy mode. This is on totally average mode, which is the easiest mode on Bashi. And the reason I did it on this mode, uh, or the second easiest, rather, the reason I did it on this mode is because there's more save points, so I won't waste as much time trying just stage progression. But the bosses are exactly the same, so... You guys don't have to really get upset and be like, Oh, well, you didn't really beat Solgrain, blah, blah, blah. It's actually, the bosses are all the same difficulty on the three hardest difficulties. The only time they're easier is on the easiest difficulty, which is not the one I'm playing on. So it will be a legit Solgrain kill <clears throat> uh, if it ever comes. Kirby part is actually a lot easier than I remember it. For some reason, I remember it being very difficult up in those clouds to dodge the spike that comes at you. But... I think I was doing it wrong in the past and I was making it harder on myself, like I wasn't saving one of the clouds and it ended up screwing me over or something, I don't I don't really remember to be honest, but uh, uh, I'm not going to be stuck on this part for too long, it's pretty simple to dodge Kirby, you can't actually kill Kirby, and of course there's going to be a save point, basically after every like little run, every like little obstacle area, there's going to be a save point, and uh, it makes the game a lot easier. Able to clear that part out pretty pretty easily, and uh, there's actually did you know there's Bashi speed runs like you know the whole like speed run uh, community there's Bashi speed runners and I really really want to see a speed run of Bashi so I could probably Google it but if you guys like know any uh, runners like the names of their channels or whatever on Twitch or YouTube let me know so this boss number two is uh, Krako Krako however you pronounce it he's from Kirby. And he actually, it doesn't look like you're damaging much when you first start shooting him, but I think he's got like a, a little shield or he's just got like more health than it actually indicates. Because you end up doing a lot more damage once he cycles through. This boss is basically just memorization. Uh, that part, this part can be kind of random when he sends those little guys at you, but the rest of it's for the most part just memorization. Uh, you do have to dodge the stars. But uh, that's that's about it, and those little guys. But uh, it's not gonna take me too long to beat uh, Krako. I hope did die to those little ones. The thing you want to do against the little guys, he actually pooped on me. What the fuck? What you want to do against the little guys is not just spam your bullets. You want to time your bullets out well enough, and so you're kind of covering more area. And finally getting to the spinning part, and I end up getting smushed by that. I used to be pretty good at uh, dodging the spinning thing, but I kind of forgot where to stand, so I gotta re- I basically have to relearn everything that I used to know, which is kind of unfortunate, but, you know, it's gonna be worth it for a soul green kill. Finally dodging the stars, and there we go, finding the two spots that I need to stand, 
That's really all you have to do for that part. And um, then he just cycles back over again. I really don't know what to say with the voiceover. It's so weird. Like, there's so much to talk about in StarCraft three plays and stuff. But in Bosch, it's just like, well, here's me dying against the boss over and over. And I'm not like in the moment, so I'm not raging. But I really just wanted to, uh, instead of just, you know, do live commentary and make a million videos again, I really just wanted to speed it up and just kind of give you guys a little bit of what's going on in my head. So that time I moved a little bit too early. That was the first lightning that he does in the beginning. So you just have to move to the left as he uses it. And you have to be in like a specific area to uh, not get hit by it. But you'll see, I'm going to wait a little bit longer this time. There we go. Now he's going to cycle through once again. And if I survive to his next cycle, uh, that should be it. And it looks like I'm about to. The star is the really only hard part. This part is, uh, of course, more memorization. And you should, should see me finishing the crackle pretty soon. Down he goes. So stay tuned for boss number three of I Want to Be the Boshi.